So today's video, I'm going to show you how to do prints. Now there are few things which I feel the student should always remember while doing the prints. The first thing, the proportion and the size. So say for example, if this is a square and your flower is this big, by the time the same print comes on the garment, on the illustration, this flower will go this small. So always consider this, the proportion. The second most important thing which I feel students don't uh, realize is that uh, a fabric is, made, is not made up of paper, it's not made up of steel, it has crease lines. So when there's a crease line, the flower will be incomplete. So say for example, if this is the print, okay, and this is the crease line. So there is half flower which is seen, half is not seen. So always consider all this thing while illustrating. Go ahead and check out this video. I'm showing you how to do frills. I'm showing you how to do prints. Okay. So, when you start uh, designing, you have to get your print board ready. You need to understand the, what the prints are. Now, before you do your prints, do your forecast also. Do your research on the forecast. Do your research on the color board. Get your uh, swatch board ready. So, all this thing helps while designing. Okay. So, here I am starting first with illustration. I prefer using, not using a ready-made croquis, I always prefer making my own croquis. It gives me that freedom of not being addicted to a ready-made croquis. So if you want, please do that. It's very liberating, I feel. Anyways, so starting with the pose. Now since I, I did some research and uh, I went ahead and uh, did some forecasting, uh, went through the forecast boards uh, and uh, so first I'll start with a short bra top. Now while you're doing your uh, basic design ideas, understand the flow of the garment and the uh, and the what do you call it as the design elements. So get your stitch lines ready, uh, mark them correctly, uh, the crease lines. So this is a short bra top what I'm going to do and uh, understand how the armhole is flowing. Now for the skirt I'm doing a basque. Now basque is a yoke which is used for a skirt. Please get your terminologies right okay. So when you have a yoke for a skirt you cannot call it yoke. It's called as basque. Okay so I've done a basque. I'm giving frill for the sleeves. And uh, for the skirt, I think what I'm doing is more like an A-line skirt. Now, the crease line for an A-line would be different and a crease line for a frill would be different. Now, if you see the, the skirt, I've just given two crease line for the skirt, the A-line part, right? Now, understand the crease line, what I'm doing for the frill. So, check out how uh, the frills will not have a complete line. They are more like a zigzag lines. Uh, then drop the lines from the uh, upper seam line and now start drawing your hem line. Now check out the hem line also. They are uh, more like waves. Now if possible uh, what you do is uh, rub, rub off extra lines. Now pick up the lines from down. Uh, all the lines are radiating from the center so see to it that the lines are not going uh, vertical they radiate okay so that's how the frills are done now i'll start with my prints now according to the color board i finalized on my two colors a lovely peach and a green uh, for the summer i've given a big leaf uh, print to it so before i really work on my uh, design what i'll do is i'll do a rough uh, print just to get a hang of it okay i'm giving the belt now i'll start giving the print now again understand how the prints are if it's a crease line only half is seen the full leaf is not seen Okay, that is very important while doing your prints. Your crease line have, you have to consider the crease lines. Okay, the frills, uh, the print is done. Now the 
print for the frill what i'm doing is a smaller version of the same print the same leaf but here since i'm using a softer fabric uh, say like a chiffon i'm giving a smaller print to it and uh, uh, giving the first outline once my basic draft is ready i'll start uh, giving the detailing so let's say this is how my leaves are going to look again please pay attention to the sizing please pay attention to the flow now as a student of course right now what you have is you get the fabric directly from the market uh, you don't have a privilege to design a print because you are at a very uh, initial stage of your career but eventually of course you will be able to print uh, your own uh, fabrics okay starting first with the rendering uh, always start with the lightest color give the baseline color the whole part always remember sides are darker so give all your sides darker blend it softly uh, giving the leg shading okay adding one darker tone now, even if i want black hair i make it that's my way of doing the hair i always give the skin color for the hair first it gives me the base okay the skin darker tones at the side okay i have given her a lovely gladiators nice summary thing i've given her a straw hat okay starting first with my skirt ka color so uh, again the fabric what i've used for the main fab uh, skirt is more stiffer fabric you can make it out by the crease line right so uh, if the fabric is softer it will have more crease line but this would be something like a taffeta or it could be a silk which has got lesser crease line that's for the main skirt uh, even the basque would be of the same fabric if you want okay i've given the baseline now i'll start with the frills now don't color it completely give that shades give that frill ka darker tones and the lighter tone below the crease lines are usually darker so blend your colors nicely you half a part white it's okay now making it slightly darker now slowly slowly uh, go ahead with your design i'm giving a shadow work kind of a shadow work for my leaves and now with the so here i'm using a sketch pen a regular sketch pen i'm just filling it up giving the print i wanted the print to look very bold and that's the reason i'm using sketch pen you can even use your regular staedtlers but i just wanted to experiment with different medium so so that's how my big leaves are ready okay that's done giving more one tone darker tone to it because after giving that sketch pen is looking very light even the frill i'm making it darker uh, adding print now since the frill has got many crease lines my uh, leaves would also be very broken they won't be complete there'll be random leaves and uh, uneven designs so get your fundamentals correct while doing the prints okay so this is almost done giving the touch up giving the highlight for the frill now coming to the top for a bra top that's more like a sheared bra top at the center giving the crease lines the shearing look to it the lighter tones the darker tones
Okay, sides are always darker, blended nicely with the center. While rendering, have patience, do it nicely. Make it a soft blend. And the frills. So I'm adding colors to the frills. I'm giving her the features. I've given her the glaze. Again, adding the hairline. Since I'm giving a curly hair, I'm just check out the way I'm giving the hair. They are just curls, the zigzag lines. The straw hat. Okay, adding one tone darker. I'm giving her the giving more and more curls. Now understand I've used almost four or five colors to give her hair. That gives the volume, that gives that uh, density. It gives that layers. Yes, so almost done. The straw hat, I'm giving more of the weave. giving the fingers at the bone line now highlighting it with the outline knit with, with the pen the black marker pen now this is optional there are many times when i do not outline it but yeah it gives a more uh, distinct look to your design i'm adding the belt the buckle so our dress is ready okay the finishing touches is very important i'm giving her a lovely gladiators the strappy ones giving her heels Okay, we are almost done. Now what I'm doing is adding one more depth for the black thingy. So I'm adding a, using a sketch pen, giving more depth to the frills. But yeah, overall thing is ready. I'll be putting one more video just doing the stripes. So subscribe to my channel. You will get lots of videos which are going to be very informative and uh, uh, there's one more uh, friend who said that uh, she wanted to learn mixed media so i might have a video on mixed media also so keep in touch subscribe to my channel if possible uh, hit the bell button so every time my video is uploaded you will get to know I hope you're enjoying and please, uh, you know the drill, like, share, subscribe. Ah, and it's done. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.